I'm Fred Schneider, and I'm in the B-52s, and I sing. I'm Kate Pearson, and I sing. We've got a new CD, album, vinyl, Flex. whatever Down you want to call it. <laughs> We never stop playing. We played with the Go-Go's and the Pretenders and Blondie. So every summer we tour, we play a couple of times a month. We're always out there playing. And soon after that, we we decided to start jamming again, but nothing really gelled. But I think this time we were all 100% into doing this. It took a huge commitment. We had to fly to Atlanta. Um, you know, we had to take time to do the record between gigs. And we had to pay for it. We own our own masters on this. This is the first time ever, so we're really happy. The album's out and proud. From the beginning, I mean, our fr all our friends knew we were gay, or some of us were gay. Yeah. And um, we just went out on tour and did our thing. People asked, you know, in the very, very beginning, they would just say, well, obviously I was a trisexual, I'll just try anything. We've had a gay sensibility for sure, and I think people kind of see us as that. And now that I'm gay too, late in life lesbian, <laughs> hell, let it all hang out. <laughs> I met my partner Monica in Woodstock, and we've been together almost five years, and this is a first for me, being with a woman, and, and my last, too, because I tend to stay with her. Anyway, it's been wonderful. And, and we... she'll beat anybody up who comes exactly. to your cave. <laughs> The changes in the music industry have been good. It seemed like a huge shakeup at first, and it was scary because we were writing and putting out our CD, and we didn't know where it was going to go, how we were going to market it or sell it, whether we would have a label or be selling it on the street corner. Since we're young and hip, it's great that we found a <laughs> record label that's young and hip. Luckily, we're with Astral Works, but I think the whole thing has opened up. I mean, between YouTube and iTunes and all the digital stuff. I mean, it's all out there. Our stuff's all over YouTube, world music, everything. And so I think it's freed up. Also, the way people make music, anybody can make a record and put it out there. And I think that's incredible now. It's, you know, just really some pretty wild stuff on YouTube, too. We love watching that. Osborne produced this uh, CD, Funplex, and Keith Strickland wanted to work with him, and we all agreed, and working with him was great. And most of the songs, when we go into the studio, we have everything arranged and written, but he kind of really did some magic. Otherwise, it's sort of classic us. Well, it's, it's us because the guitar and our voices just give it away, so it is a, it's the B-52 sound. We're still singing about outer space and love and sex. Well, all the songs tended to... They're all about, about sex. sex. And we just tried to steer away at one point because, oh, we can't have every song about sex, but why not? We finally accepted the fact that we're all sex gods and goddesses, and so we figured we might as well just let it all hang out for our fans. Yeah. The True Colors Tour starts May 28th, so check it out. It's going to be Rosie O'Donnell. Of course, Cindy Lauper. Uh, Indigo Girls will be on some of it. Uh, Tegan, Tegan and Sam. Sarah, Wanda Sykes. Joss Stone. Joss Stone for uh, some of the gigs. And different uh, Macs will be coming on tour. So it'll be something different in different parts of the country. And it also has some great sponsors. HRC, Logo, Sirius, Satellite Radio. Well, I'm excited to go on the tour because I can't wait to see Wanda Sykes. She's my favorite comedian. She's the new Phyllis Diller. She's hysterical. We've been friends with Cindy Lauper for years and years, so that's going to be really exciting, playing with Cindy and just being, you know, all on tour together. It's just, I really think it's going to be a pretty riotous kind of scene. And who knows what's going to happen after the shows. It's going to be one big love fest, if you know what I mean. Someone had told us back in the days, 76, 77, that there would be a gay... There uh, would be a gay channel coming in the future. What would you say? It's great that finally TV is embracing everyone, embracing the gay community. And the gay community is making a real positive influence on our culture, on, on politics. The more we support ourselves and promote ourselves, the more barriers are going to be broken down. I mean, I'm sure everyone said that before, but America's fed up, and, uh, 
and more accepting and we just got to keep all the lines of communication open so that we can all work together and effect positive change. And I think that's one good effect that the uh, True Colors Tour has and networks like Logo and things. Our new video, Funplex, uh, we uh, worked with Robo Shobo. We filmed it in California. We had a lot of fans and friends come in. It was done on blue screen. And um, I was on a Segway. That uh, was genius. Fred's, Fred crashed on the Segway a couple of times, but he got the hang of it. I didn't crash once. When you turn it off, it falls over. Yeah. But once you get going, <laughs> you just don't want to get off it. They look so silly. I don't know if they're ever going to catch they do on. Look silly. Is it the future? Well, it's the way to go out of the mall. You can get there faster. Yeah. So I play the demented shopper running through crowds of people to get out of the way. And Kate's the uh, pleasure seeker shopping. And it was It's pretty wild. Fred ran into RuPaul just by accident. He lives out in L.A. now, so he did a cameo. Zach Alford, um, who played drums on that track, happened to be in L.A. too, so he was in it. And that sort of the Love Shack crowd got, had a reunion there. Sort of like a Busby Berkeley on acid, sort of. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty wild, fun video.